Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrex. And of course, welcome to what is hopefully a very quick tutorial video in which we are going to be talking about the axles, the bearings, and the dynamo generators. All items I have used recently quite a lot, but apparently I have not been explaining very well. I have had a lot of people ask me how these parts work, how you attach them to each other, and although I feel like I did cover them, after looking back at the videos, yeah, I really didn't. So this is a very quick little extra video in which I just showcase how you attach all these items together. But first of all, we need to move away from this, otherwise we're going to be getting power from it. Okay, now we're far enough away from player tech number 10 that we're not going to be draining any power from it, and here is our basic anchor system. So we have the axle here, we have our secondary tech, and we have a battery, but we have no power source. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a secondary tech, but before that, I want to quickly showcase something I've seen quite a few people do incorrectly, and it seems like this is causing a lot of the confusion, and that's to do something like this. So straight away, we've added the axle, but now I cannot add the cab to that axle, which means... I can never generate power from this bearing, and because I have this over here, it's also trying to move it. Now, bear in mind, it is a little bit glitchy at the moment, but we are in one of the experimental patches, which means things constantly are being changed, and I swear they have got worse since the recent patch. So ignore the shaking, that constantly changes. But clearly, that's not the way to go. I've also seen people try to add the bearing first like this, and then try to connect it, but that doesn't work either. So what you need to do is you simply line up the cab, so we're going to put it like here. We're going to add our dynamo, because then I won't forget to add it later, which is always good. There we are. And then we're going to connect it via, let's say, some of these poles, because I think that looks better. And then we add the bearing. Now this can take a few attempts, because lining it up correctly can be a bit interesting, let's say that much. There we go. So now we are connected, we are two techs, but we are all stuck together because of this. And again, this shaking is so much worse than the last time I did this. So next up, we need to make sure this thing can actually generate power. If we start moving around now, that will not generate power because the wheels are not touching anything. How the dynamo works is the dynamo must register your tech as being grounded, or at least is touching something solid. Now this can include other techs, as I'll explain later, but normally it means you're touching the ground. It means you're not using a hover or a flyer and the dynamos aren't directly attached to that. Wow, yep, this thing is going to be really fun to build with at the moment. Good job, I'm doing the tutorial now. So I'm just doing this, and then we're putting the wheels on the ground. There we are. That is absolutely horrendous. Now, thankfully, when it's moving around, you can't really see the shakiness, so it's not that bad. I'm also going to add a battery, so we have a little bit of extra storage, and then I'm going to add our movement capabilities. So we add the linear motion machine, which will allow us to move when we're not currently controlling the tech, which is very important, and then we add the small drives. We activate this. That goes absolutely insane. Then we go back to the main tech. So what's happening now is that the secondary tech is moving and it's classed as being grounded. It's a completely separate tech to the main body here, which means it should be generating power. Very slowly, mind you. And in fact, yep, it is. Its battery is now increasing. So what do we do next? Next, if I can get this thing to stop. There we are. Next, and finally, we add the wireless chargers. The wireless chargers will then allow us to give power to the main core. There we are. So now that's moving around, it's a completely separate tech, and it's generating power for the core itself. And we can do that forever, and ever, and ever. It doesn't generate particularly much power, because there's only one dynamo generator, but you can add more generators, you can scale this thing up a lot, and it will function all well and good. Now this sort of thing also works with everything else. So if you have two techs, and you want the first to drag along the second, you can add something like the hook, and then on the second you will add, where are you? The tow ring. And once again you need to line this up correctly. And now they are connected despite being two separate techs. Not the best example because this thing can't actually move right now, but still, you get the basic idea. You always need to make sure the two techs are already built, and then you have to intersect them manually. That's something I did not show during my videos. I don't know why I didn't show it, and that's caused all sorts of problems. So I do apologize for that. Next up, I'll be going over how you make power from a flyer or from another tech. In fact, the easiest way to do it is just have a ground tech and a secondary tech on it, then we'll do the flyer. 
Actually, now I think about it, I think a hover would be the easiest way to do this. So let's just move this out of the way of all that again. There we are. So as usual, hovers will not work with the dynamo because the dynamo requires a grounding to work. So there we are. The dynamo is not functioning despite the fact I'm going at decent speed. So how can I get dynamos to function on a hover or on a flyer? And it's actually very simple and it's because the game registers grounded vehicles in quite an interesting way because it will count techs as grounding the vehicle like I was saying before. Now, I am using terms incorrectly here, I do realise, but it's how I explain it to myself, so that's how I'm going to do things like this in the future. Now, I really wish I didn't have to make this video, but yeah, after looking back at all the stuff, I really was quite lazy with explaining some of the stuff, and it has caused so many problems. So, what we're going to do, just to make this nice and easy, is we're going to add an explosive bolt. That means as soon as I press X, the explosive bolt, well, explodes and thus releases whatever it was holding. And actually, we can put this a little bit further down. We add some wheels. Once again, it has to be wheels touching the tech. And on those wheels, we will also add the dynamos. Where are you, dynamos? There we are. Just put those on the front. Just make sure that they're not connecting to anything else. So when this breaks, it'll be two separate techs. And then, of course, it'll need a cab itself. <laughs> this poor, poor hover. It's so misbalanced now. And finally, a way to transfer the power from the dynamos over to the hover itself. Not exactly the best fit, but as long as the wheels are touching, it should function, which they're not. Okay, let me just get this properly inside. Could have phrased that better. There we are. So now as I'm moving, you can see the dynamos are now spinning. And a little bit of power is now being transferred, and that's because the wheels are making the vehicle think it's grounded, even though it's really not. So that will constantly generate power. Now, of course, you can do this way more efficiently, much smaller builds, you can put them inside of planes or anything else. As long as the wheels are touching the tech it's feeding, it will be absolutely fine. In fact, you could probably build wheels touching each other and then have them all sort of in a line next to each other. There's lots of ways you can do this. And there we go, one of our batteries finally was charged enough to give our shield some power. But yeah, very low amounts of power indeed. So last, we're going to add a moving dynamo generator to this vehicle. Because honestly, just adding a dynamo generator which just sits there doesn't really have much point since this is already a grounded vehicle. But we can have it generate power even when the vehicle is stationary, when it's fighting, or when it's anchored somewhere else. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add one regular block, like so. We're then going to add our inverted axle. I'm only using the inverted axle because I find that it's a little bit easier to build with because of the heights of this design. Then we add the small cap. Always make sure to add the cap if you're using the inverted axle, otherwise the secondary tech is liable to fly off. I learned that the hard way, several times. Then we add our secondary cap once again. This way we have a secondary tech and it's not the first tech, otherwise it simply doesn't work. We add the hub wheel because the hub wheel once again is better with the heights. <laughs> that is so glitchy to try and do. And then we connect the two just like we did with the stationary tech earlier. So we add a, a pole there, then we add the small bearing which should fit just there. Okay, almost. One day I'll get that done first try and it'll be amazing. There we are, perfect. And already if I turn off build beam, we can move around and as you can see this tech counts as moving and because the wheel is touching this tech, it also counts as being on the ground. Is this intentional? I don't know. Does it work at the moment? Yes. We then add the better future linear motion machine, the dynamo generator, and then a way of giving power to the main body. We start this spinning. We can then leave it. We go to the main tech, and eventually, there we go. We can see a little power arc coming from the secondary dynamo. 
It also leaves really weird marks in the air, which I find very funny, and which kind of also hints that this might not be around forever, but that's how it currently works. So, that is pretty much that. I hope I've explained it better this time. I know I didn't explain it last time, and I do apologise for that. I try to edit down these videos as best I can, and sometimes I do skip things which are quite important. So hopefully, this has clarified a lot of stuff, and honestly, it only took a few moments to make, so it wasn't too much effort anyway. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terra Tech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. And with this design, you can also build it horizontally as long as the wheel is touching the original tech. And as this shows, the original tech does not need to be anchored. Thank you again, and goodbye.